Hey, how's it going? Hans Schaff here. Uh, it's kind of loud in here. I'm going about 90 miles an hour on a freeway here driving to Colorado, so I thought I'd put my microphone in here so you can hopefully hear me a little better. But um, yeah, it's, uh, I don't know, May something or other, and I'm driving to Colorado, and I just had a really funny insight. You know, it's so funny, I was just reflecting, and I do this all the time on road trips. Um, you know, it's just a great place. you got all this open space out here, just clouds, and especially here in Kansas, there's just planes, right? You can just kind of see for miles and miles. Great time to reflect. And I need to actually, I'm looking at structuring this into my life on a maybe monthly basis where I can just get out, go for a trip, because it just really helps to reflect back um, and see where I've been the last month. And things are changing and moving so fast. Just got my house um, contract on it. Well, I got an offer that I accepted. I've been putting my house in the market for sale. Um, and I've got uh, my rental properties as well, my 26 patio homes. I've, we've agreed on a price as well with another potential buyer there. So all of a sudden, things are just really moving and shaking. And just opening up, creating space for a whole, many, a whole bunch of new things to show up in my life. I'm really excited about, especially in the tiny house front. Anyway, point of this message, though, was um, as I reflect back and I was thinking, you know, I don't know if you've ever read the book, uh, Think and Grow Rich. And in it, um, you know, um, Napoleon Hill references um, Henry, uh, Henry Ford, who was brought before um, court um, because they were trying to um, prove that he was um, ignorant, and it was such a, such a great example, and it always stuck with me, you know, and he says, and they, so they, they put him in front of this for hours and hours, and they're sitting there just asking him all these different questions, you know, like, what year did, uh, you know, the French War take place, and how many soldiers died in, on the British side during the Revolutionary War, and all these seemingly pointless questions, right, and he entertained him, and he would sit there and kind of make jokes at the questions, and really didn't take it seriously. Finally, after hours and hours of this, he just finally had enough and said, okay, listen, I can sit here for hours and hours more and continue to answer your silly questions, but what's the point? I can, at the, at the touch of a button, I can have any one of your questions answered. On my desk, I have this row of buttons, and I can just push a button and get any question that I want answered. And, um, you know, that just went to go, to, uh, just went for him to prove that, look, he is an educated man. The information that he seeks, he's able to find because that's what education is. It's about being able to get the information that you need, not necessarily having all the information necessarily memorized and stuck up in your head. That's not someone who's a smart person. That's someone who just knows how to memorize stuff. It's accessing information. That's what intelligence really is about, right? Someone who's ignorant does not have the resources or the ability to find the information that they're looking for. So that was always a great example that stuck in my head from Napoleon Hill. And I was just thinking here on my smartphone, right, my, my iPhone, um, as I'm driving and just kind of scanning through all the messages that I have and thinking if there's ever anything that I need, whether it's real estate, whether it's finance, whether it's um, about tiny houses, whether it's just a personal thing or I want to contact my family, my friends, whatever it is that I want, I can literally push a button on my phone and almost and get a response from somebody, right? I don't even have to, have to even use my voice. I can sit there and type a quick little text message, send it off from my phone, no matter where I'm at in the world, pretty much, and be able to get um, you know, a pretty quick response back um, to my question. I love that. It's so cool. And that's the age that we live in today. Yeah, I just want to kind of empower and kind of inspire you just to be, maybe help you um, look back and reflect on your own life and realize where things are at and how simple and how easy life can be right now if you can see it that way. Um, you know, you can allow for things to show up in your life. You can allow for things to be easy and effortless and fun and exciting if you will see it that way. If you want to see it as dark and challenging and difficult and hard, you'll experience it that way too. And that, was, that has been the majority of my life I've experienced it that way because I thought, you know, you had to work hard and you had to struggle and you had to had to be painful and all this but you just as easily can create an easy fun exciting life just as easily and just get out of your own way and let things show up and, and just experience and really you know be present in your life and, and take a moment to experience it so anyway just uh, how cool where we're at today where we can do something like that where Henry Ford is a billionaire had this high-tech row of buttons on his desk you can imagine back in the 1910s or 20s whenever that was you know and here anybody who's got a smartphone and pretty much has the same access to the entire world at their fingertips, not to mention Google and all the other internet marketing resources or social media. And you can take polls, you can ask questions, you can shoot videos, just such a wealth of information at our disposal. It is definitely the information age. Are you taking advantage of it? Are you in front of it? Are you, um, you know, doing something with it? Because uh, it's, it's here, it's now. And if you're not, you're pretty much irrelevant. So make sure you're getting in front of that. And uh, just exciting, just excited. So, uh, with that, I'm going to go ahead and send you off. I'm going to get here to Colorado here tonight for my uh, second to last class, helping me put together this tiny house project, which I'm very excited about. It's going to be taking place here real soon. But if you want to learn more about the information age and how you can get your you know, your hand in it and really um, take advantage of what's going on right now, the changes, the transformation that's happening 
and um, really, you know, become relevant and make, make some good money online, working from home, working from the road, working from wherever you want, doing whatever you want, check a look at this video down below. Click on the link, and uh, we'll see you in the next video. Take care. Watch that video. Take care.